Alrighty. Hi guys, we're back. And today I actually want to let me make sure my mic's not. Today for my webtoon chit chat or webtoon artist ramble series, I want to talk about DPI and what exactly is DPI. So I was working on a blog post where I wanted to like give some advice on what DPI is and I decided, hey, let's go ahead and Google what DPI stands for. So DPI stands for dot per inches and you know, which I ended up seeing like, so when someone says they want a photo for 300 DPI, that really means 300 PPI and I'm like, well, what's PPI? But we're not gonna go down that tunnel because like that's a rabbit hole of, of, of just questions on top of questions that I'm obviously going to fall victim to. So we're just going to focus on what DPI is for a webtoon like this. So for publishing your comic in the printed format, you usually or they recommend having a DPI of, what was it, 350? No, 600. I saw it. It was 600. 600 DPI is usually what they recommend for publishing your book in the printed format. And that just helps to make sure that your image resolution is high enough. And now for, so th since I want to publish my comic and like, since I want to publish my webtoon eventually in, in book format or have it printed in book format, I usually have the, like the native file or the mother file or whatever this file is. This is like the, the main, the main file. <laughs> I usually have that at 600 DPI or the resolution at 600. Now when I export for, like, what is the word, for publishing online, oh my god, when I export for publishing my comic online, I usually will change the DPI to something a lot smaller because this 600, is, is it's, a, it's a little large and it's going to make the file size large. and. If you put it down to like 300, some people even use like 72 DPI. That helps to lower the file size and it also helps to make sure that you can like your computer can won't get over overworked because certain computers can't handle a high DPI of 600 working on that high of a DPI of 600 and some internet connections just won't let you upload a, a DPI of higher than 300 which you know my internet connection kind of acts like that so for example we're going to go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and export this as 600 you know hold on let me name this a better one so we're going to go to export and we're going to test comic 600 DPI just put it right, right in there. Ignore how I name my files. I just, I do gibberish. So this is going to be exported at 600 DPI. Oh, wow. Oh, I don't actually have to export it. So right here in Clip Studio Paint, I love this program, my God. In Clip Studio Paint, as you can see, the file size is 1,899 kilobytes, but you know, it's fine. I don't know what this means, so I'll have to do some more research to learn more about that, and then I can come back and show you guys. But anyways, so at 600 DPI, the file size will be 1,899.93. So let's keep that number in mind. Let's see how much it would be if we put it at 300 DPI. Save. Specific resolution. Oh, that, look right there, there's the DPI, I just noticed that. Let's go down to 300, click OK. Let's see what number it gives us. Click OK. It's, ah, and you see how the file size is a lot lower. So at first it was the 1800, 8, 1,899. Now it's down to 688. Let's go ahead and see how many kilobytes 72 would give us. Let's go ahead and just lower that a little bit more. more. There we go. 72 is like the, the smallest one. I don't like 72 because it, I kind of start getting that blurry kind of effect and, and I would like for my comic to, you know. But anyways, it brings it down to 85. Shoot, let me see how this looks. Hold on, zoomed up. Oh, uh, yeah, you see? You see the blur? I should have did, the, hold on, let me see what the blur, what it looks like with the 600. But as you can see with the 72, it's got that blur. Let me see if the blur is still there with the 600. With the 300. We'll do 300. But hey, the file size went down to like 68. So if you don't really mind the blur, 
Oh, power to ya. Why do I, why do I talk like this? Why? It's cause hers is nervous. Oh, look at that crispness. Still, look how crisp it is. Look at that. Well, you back up. Look at it. So this would be, this would, would suffice enough for online printing. That's usually what I do for when I publish my comics on Webtoon. I'm just, since I'm nosy and I'm a naturally curious person, I want to see what 600 looks like. <laughs> How closely I can zoom in at 600. Again, this Clip Studio paint, man, it, it's awesome. I need to, I need to study more of their little bells and trinkets so I can like, actually tell people look how close you can just see the exhaust <laughs> in his eyes oh wow I can zoom in that close and, oh well, that's cool and as you can see that's why people want it printed at 600 dpi because like the quality is so great but the file size is huge so again I recommend 600 dpi if you're printing the book I recommend 300 dpi if you're publishing your webtoon online just to help with the file size because with webtoon you can only have your file sizes 20 megabytes if I am correct we're not gonna you know what I'm gonna do a quick search and just pull that up oh. let's go ahead and go to the dashboard add episode yep so with webtoon each file cannot be any bigger than two megabytes and the file all together in total has to be at least 20 cannot be at least well cannot be bigger than 20 megabytes so keep that in mind when you guys are setting your dpis for your comments so hopefully that helped <laughs> i know i can ramble a little bit but that's the end of today's webtoon chit chat webtoon ramp webtoon artist that's the end of today's video and i will be back again obviously with another video if you have any questions feel free to leave them down below if you want to read more on my me rambling or talking about dpi not rambling it's just you know, i'm sharing sharing information about dpis then dpis is home focus go ahead and stop by my website called smarshitastudio.com and you can read more there so I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and I will talk to you guys again another day. Alrighty, bye!